Well, it's not a flying day, so it must be a building day. And luckily this arrived by courier. It's a Wing Wing Z84 from Gearbest.com. Here's a quick unboxing, speeding up the boring bits. This is a really nice looking 840mm wingspan EPO flying wing. It's supplied with Dean's connectors on the ESC and battery, but I use XT60, so that was my first job to swap over the connectors. The motor is a 2208 with eight windings, and it's a 2900 kV. And you can easily swap for a different motor. It has a very generous 30 amp ESC and nine gram servos already installed. The accessories pack includes some screws, glue, push rods, control horns, velcro, a canopy clip, uh, a bit of extra nose weight and a prop adapter. There's a very clear instruction manual but it's very easy to put together. It's just a matter of gluing the wings together, gluing the, the fiberglass spar in, gluing the other wing on, gluing the fins on and just leaving it for a couple of hours to, to set. control horns just poke through the hole provided and the retaining clip attached on the other side. And this canopy retaining clip clips onto the spar as it passes through the body. Just glues into position on the canopy underside. The 6x4 inch prop has a little adapter ring that needs to be popped into position. And then it's mounted on the motor shaft using a collet style prop adapter which clamps down tightly onto the shaft. When you're mounting a prop onto a plane the numbers always face forward. Whether the prop is on the front of the plane or the back of the plane, numbers always face forward. It's absolutely essential that this gets clamped down tightly otherwise you'll lose your prop. And the prop adapter that was supplied with this plane was the wrong size. I couldn't do it up tight enough, so I had to change for one of my own, which did fit properly. The hole in the servo arm was a little bit too small for the push rod, which isn't a bad thing. So I had to drill it out using a 1.5mm drill, and then it fitted perfectly. The servo wires slot down into a pre-cut groove and pass into the uh, cockpit area. This is a six channel receiver but you really only need a three channel. Now I'm connecting the three wires from the ESC to the motor and at this stage I don't know if they're connected in the correct order. If the motor spins in the wrong direction I can change two of those leads and it'll reverse the direction. I've used some of the provided sticky back velcro to uh, secure the ESC onto the side of the cockpit area and the receiver underneath the fiberglass spar and there's a convenient little slot there for the aerial to sit up in for the best reception and a little bit more velcro right up in the nose so the battery can go right forward. This is my Elevon mix using OpenTX on Eternity 9XR, but just about all radios will have an Elevon mix available. With the motor run up I can see that the prop is spinning in the wrong direction, so I do need to change two of those ESC leads. And that is now good to go. Now I'm using a watt meter to check the maximum current draw at full throttle. And it's about 14 amps, which means my 30 amp ESC is plenty. Now the decals are all on, I'm going to add some thread locker to the motor mount screws. A little dab of glue on the end of the screwdriver helped holding the screw while I was positioning it. 
and finally time to get the centre of gravity right. You hold, balance the plane on those two little foam knobs uh, and add as much weight as you need to the nose to get it to balance. I added 25 grams here and it balanced nicely. And that made the all-up weight with battery 390 grams.